He picked up um, a Shido for that error. 4.42, just 15 seconds off the clock. And if you pick up an error, it doesn't really matter when it happens. You know, it's an error is an error. You don't say, well, I'm not going to give him a Shido because it's in the first 15 <laughs> seconds. If he, if he did something wrong, he gets it. Anyway, Kyrgyz Bayev has proved a difficult man to beat. He's in here with a, a chance of a bronze medal. Not sure whether Ian wants to have a bet on this one. <laughs> I want to have a bet <laughs> <laughs> again today. <laughs> well, one bet for, for a day is, is enough. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Backed up into a corner. Here's the difficult thing. And um, Jimene just showed I in that instance that a little bit of movement and just moving back into the competition area is going to help you to avoid picking up that stepping out penalty. What it didn't do was to help him with the passivity penalty. <laughs> he got that one. <laughs> Mehmet was going to find a wi some way to, to penalise him. He almost took one in the face there. Did you see that, the Kazakh fighter? He almost got slapped in the face there and then attempted the Ashi was up. Kyrgyz Baev turning Jimeno onto his front. So there's no score there. And it remains scoreless with 3.20 odd left to go. Kyrgyz Better grip. Kyrgyz Baev on top. Much more, st much more stability in his position. He looks strong for 60, doesn't he? Mm. Yes, he does. Two fighters just stepping into the advertising hoarding there, pushing it back a bit, and Jimeno picks up a penalty for stepping out of the area. Indication could also have been an indication that he pushed his um, his, his opponent out. You know, it's, it, it's it's the same same signal. So he could have he could have pushed him out of the area there. Oh, almost look for the left left hip technique there. Nice, Ashi was a from Kyrgyz by. And again, they are completely out of the mat, not from the fighting area, but yeah, out of the mat. They almost got introduced to Sergei Soloveitchik, the <laughs> EJU president. They went into that stand where the VIPs are sitting, right, right into it. Oh, here he goes again. I like that grip. Right arm around the back. That's up around the collar now. No footwork, though. And Jimenez is oh out of the mat again. Yeah, and, and move back in. Steps out again, but back in. That, that's okay. Uchimata, he goes over. Yep, Wazari. On the running. Yeah. He's not bad, is he, the Turkish referee? No, no, you know, no. he's, he's a bit, bit of a joker sometimes, but <laughs> when it comes to the map work, he's pretty good. He, know, he knows his stuff, and he, he scored that well. No heroics, nothing spectacular. Just doing what the good referees do and just recording what happened. Wazari on the board for Kyrgyz Bayev. Minute and a half. Let's see what Himeno has to offer up in this last minute and 20 odd seconds now. And even though if leading, Kirkis Baev seems, seems disappointed with the scoreboard. He wants to finish he it he off, doesn't he? Wants to finish it, yes. And just now he's playing for the Shido. <laughs> 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 but we're foot tapping along the way, and he steps over that. Yeah, he, he's just yeah. taking a rest now, isn't he, really? Both fighters could go here. Yeah. 
Jimeno picks up a third penalty. Well, you know, time to time to get on with it, pal. You're the one down by Wazari. Got to make something happen now. Oh, 30 seconds left, oh, 34 to be exact. Another little tap on the foot, but nothing serious. And nice gripping from Kyrgyz Bayev. This is Guma, <laughs> Kyrgyz Bayev. Oh, close there, him and oh, just almost had his hands in a good position. Before he's called Mate. Ten seconds left to go. We never did find out whether it was his brother or a cousin or his twin, whatever the case is. Well, if it, if it was a twin, it would be his brother, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Time's run out. Kyrgyz Baev of Kazakhstan picks up the first of the bronze medals. There were four of them in there. Not bronze medals for Kazakhs in this weight category. And we said that they could get two medals. And, and they will get two medals. They will get two. The second of which will either be the gold or silver. We shall see that, we'll see that coming up. Yes. But yeah, it's uh, Guma Kyrgyzbaev of Kazakhstan who takes the first of the bronze medals. I'm not sure why Himeno is giving the officials the dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's three, three penalties and no score. I think that equals you lose. Right, who have we got next then? Jan, who have yeah, we coming up next? Next coming Bagirov, Arif of Bulgaria and Imashev, I beg. Well, what a thing. Uh, my apology. Cher Gershev Yanislav and Davkam Ohains of Armenia. What? I switched to the final, I am sorry. <laughs> but I, I saw that as well. I, I'm, I'm not sure if Gershev and Yanislav was on. Uh, uh, Yanislav Gershev was on there. I didn't see it. I saw Bagirov first. Uh, but then when I look back, <laughs> Uh, um, Gurchev was up there, so I, I would have read out the same thing that you read out. That seemed to change <laughs> quickly because I was thinking, well, who beat who beat Bagirov? I didn't see anybody beat Bagirov. Well, he nearly lost in the semi-final, but mm. but nearly, <laughs> nearly. Right here we are with the second of the bronze medal matches. Yanislav Gurchev of Bulgaria faces Hovhannis Davtayan of Armenia. It's Gurchev of Bulgaria in the white chidogi and Davtayan of Armenia in blue. So all of the contests are on one mat. I suppose that means that our camera down on mat three, we could tune in, couldn't we, and have an extra extra camera. Oh, nice coach Maki Komi, awarded by Yuko on the side of Davkian. Strong grip. Yes. Sumiga Ishi. And no Sekomi. It's not the strongest Yoko Shiogatami I've ever seen. He hasn't got his chest where he would like it to be. And he's gone down to the, the lower part. It was just, there wasn't sufficient enough of the top half of the body up there to keep control. And Daftayan. 
missing out there on finishing off. A little over three minutes left to go. Gerchev could come back and damage Davteyan if he's not careful. Doing the right thing here with two and a half minutes to go. Gurchev not chasing the contest at the moment. Just hanging in there. He's three scores down, but one Wazari would do it. Well, maybe he should be chasing just that little bit harder. <laughs> because he's just picked up the Shido for passivity. So I didn't help him out there. He's gone, he's gone over again. This time for Wazari, 13 is the, the number. It's, it's one Wazari and three Yukos now, but it looks like unlucky 13 <laughs> for Gurchev, I'm afraid. So now it has to be Ipum. That's right. If it's going to happen, it's going to have to happen big. Scored on him again, hasn't he? No, no, no. It oh no, I, I, didn't, I didn't. We can't quite see. It's not the best position where we are, I'm afraid. Especially no. with that referee's head in the way. Not <laughs> the one on the map, but <laughs> where, where, where we're where we're seated. Slight, slightly awkward. There's nothing that we can do really. to go left-sided with the Osotokari and then the right-sided Tomanagi, but Gerchev up to defending that and he avoids getting caught there. There's still a minute to go. <laughs> he may get caught again. Surely Daftayan can't lose it from here. There's no way, is there? Oh. He would have made a great mistake to lose it. I think that he's experienced enough to not to do it. And, and now he, ca he catches him now. Well and truly beaten there was Gurchev. A very strong and experienced of Hannes Davtayan of Armenia takes the second of the bronze medals. Well, the, the rundown is the, the two bronze medal matches then a final. That's the under 60 kilo category. We'll have two more bronze medal matches then a final. And then we'll have the awarding ceremony for both those weight categories. We'll then uh, come to... No, we'll have the awarding ceremony for the 60 kilo category. We'll then have the two bronze medal matches and then the final in the under 73 kilo category. And we'll wrap up with two awarding ceremonies at the end. Not quite sure how it is that the advertising was left, left out, but it, it's in there now. Doesn't really matter. Well, yes, of course it does. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Of course it matters. <laughs> Too late. It's out now. I'm not going to recover from that one. 
It doesn't make a difference to what happens on the tatami, but it's obviously extremely important in other ways. So. Right, we're just having the mats tidied up a little bit. Obviously, during some of the contests, the mats got moved a little bit, but we'll pop them back into place and we'll be ready to get underway with the final of the under 60 kilo category in a, a moment. Arif Bagirov of Belarus faces Ibek Imashev of Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, mark number two. Gold medal fighting category, men under 60 kilograms. In white, Arif Bagirov representing Belarus. In blue, Aybek Imashev representing Kazakhstan. Must be a little bit of... Well, I suppose he's used to it now, having his father follow him out onto the mat and give him advice and be in the chair, so... No real added pressure, oh, I don't know. I'll have to speak to Arif and ask him. Dennis Stewart is here and his son will be competing tomorrow. Max Stewart, maybe ask him what, it, what it's like. Four fights for Ripon so far, is that the... It's nice. <laughs> is that well? I don't know. I mean, is that? I'm uh, just checking. Is that the tail of the route to the final so far? Four fights, four Ippons so far. What a boy, eh? Bagirov has been spanking him over. Did you matter? No. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't come up with the turn, could he? Mm -hmm. That was what was in his mind. And she did a football, I yeah. think. Both fighters penalized there. The German referee in the middle, not waiting to get them back to the start point or not wait until he gets back to the start point just dishing out dishing out the shido after the matter that's the way they're going to do it now and oh is it oh. born this time the biter is bitten Imashev coming up with a huge technique there to finish off the challenge of Arif Bagirov of Belarus. Well, gold medal for Kazakhstan, bronze medal for Kazakhstan. The least that you can say for Bagirov is that there's been an Ippon in every fight that he was involved <laughs> in. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, the last the last one was against him. <laughs> Poor fellow. I mean, he's fought so well today. Four Rippons. He would have he would have been the player of the day for me, knocking out the number one seed and making it to the final. He takes a silver medal here, but the gold. Well, that goes to Ibek Imashev of Kazakhstan. Who have we got coming on? Uh, coming on now, then, Jan. We will see the fight for the bronze medal between Zambori, Benz of Hungary and Matteo Piras of Italy. Oh, I love that. Well put. Well, well done. And the fighters are ready. And there's still a chance for a Czech medal today. Yes. It's not a bad one either. He's got a good chance in that fight. Right, the fighters are ready, quite correct. Zambori Benza and Matteo Piras. 
ready to get going with the first of the bronze medal matches in the under 66 kilo category. Here we go. Ishi was a very good score. I'm going to say Kumi. No. Yes. Mi missed out. Caught him, caught him early. The Hungarian leads here. And again, the same technique. Not such successful, Piras was careful this time. And as he expected it. Again. Yeah. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? It seems so. Sends him over a second time. Take a little look at that. Yep, no doubt about it. So, two good scores. The Italian falls to the Hungarian. We have another bronze medal match coming up now. Jasper Lefebvre of Belgium faces Pavel Zagrodnik of Poland. It's Lefebvre in the white judogi, Zagrodnik in blue. Chimata from Zagrodnik, and then he dropped down low to attempt that Rote Sionagi, but to no effect. Good Ashivaza. Lefebvre now leading on Mazari. Not able to apply it on this occasion. Who was it that Zagrudnik lost out to then? It was in the semi final he lost out to Dmitry Shershan of Belarus. Who we'll see in the final. is just wandering off the map there. And again oh the same yes. Ashivaza. And nice it Yeah. Final block. I like that too. It's just something about, you know, helping your your opponent on, onto his feet. Jasper Lefebvre, Belgian. Congratulations. 
Well, this one goes to Lefebvre, who's growing in uh, stature, really. And that's a, that's a good win against Zagrodnik. Quality fighter, the Polish, Polish boy. And Jasper Lefebvre takes the first of the bronze medals. Sorry, that was the second, because we're going through these pretty quickly, aren't we? We've already had the Zambori Piras contest, that ended in Ippon. Then we've had Lefebvre and, Z and Zagrodnik, that's ended in Ippon. Well, we'll see what's going to happen here. It's the final of the under 66 kilo category. Dmitry Shershan of Belarus faces Elio Verde of Italy. It's Shershan in the white jidogi and Verde in blue. Oh, oh, yeah, good score from Verde. Quick Yuko for, for the beginning. Yuko, yeah, Ponseonagi, low, left-sided, just driving as much as possible to get his opponent over onto his side. Yuko on the board for the Italian. Natik Bagirov is back in the chair for this one, this time not for his son. Not as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri Shershan. Trails here by a Yuko. Half a minute gone. to turn off that effort there from Shershan. Very. Uh, I don't know whether the, the beard suits him. <laughs> no, no, no. It just it seems to age him unnecessarily. He's only a young guy. <laughs> don't need that big Beard, he has grown big yeah. into the 66. That's right, yeah, he's grown into the 66 yeah. kilo category indeed. Whoops. A little bit of a foot tap. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He was airborne for a while there with Shershan. Really went up there. Comes back with the attempted Ashiwaza. Deciding not to pursue anything in Iwaza, and the referee Vladimir Nitka calls Mate back up on their feet now. Oh, Elio Verde is quick enough with his right hand, he doesn't allow Shershan to get the top grip. As you can see right now, yeah, this should be a point. he goes again. Not quite. Mm -hmm. Zari on the board. Well, there it is. Also collected Yuko a couple of seconds earlier. Two scores on the board for the Italian with a little over two minutes left to go.
Verde picks up a penalty for wandering out of the area. Ojigari, and then he thought about the Uchimata, but Verde had already pulled his left arm away, and that changed the position. He wasn't able to launch the attack. Shershan again, losing contact with the hand. Oh, attempting the arm lock. Can't quite come off. Referee deciding it wasn't going to happen, so he called Mate. Inside the last minute then. Good Suinage. Oh, Suinage. Huh. Oh. Started like a Suinage. It, it, it started, then it ended, ended up like a Maki Komi, oh, yeah. didn't <laughs> it? <laughs> He's in good condition, Elio Verde. Goes the distance. Fit. Ooh. Oh, yes! Wazari. Wazari. But Verdi's the one with the and Yuko. The so that makes it interesting, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Verdi is working in the Wazari now. He knows about the time. And he Shesham <laughs> <laughs> has only nine seconds. Yeah, here he the comes. Oh, yeah, here That's it comes. done now. Verde will get the bro. Uh, will get yeah, the. Yeah. That's silver. right. Uh, silver. Gold medal. That's right. He's going up. <laughs> he <laughs> keeps going up. Elio Verde. Oh, a little bit of a dance, but we can save the dancing for afterwards, Elio. Apologizes to the referee. He bows. He also bows to Shershan. I guess he realized, well, a little bit too much showboating before the bow. I'm surprised that Natik Bagirov has still got a voice left after <laughs> this. Right. That was the gold medal match in the under 66 kilo category. Elio. Verde wins it. Not quite sure what he was showing on his elbow, but right, we've got the awarding ceremony in the under 60 kilo category to come now. I'm not sure whether we've got some honorary awards. That was what was mentioned here. Stay with us. We'll be back with more live action from Prague. Representing Kazakhstan. The award to the winner is 
awarded by Mr. Peter Smoy, Vice President of the Czech Judo Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up for the national anthem of Kazakhstan. Now you can take the picture with the winners. Přistoupíme k zápasu o bronz v kategorii mužů do 73 kg, ve kterém v bílém kimonu nastoupí bronzový medalista z juniorského mistrovství Evropy z roku 2013. Sami šouži z Belgie a v modrém kimonu jako pičvínek Česká republika. So we will continue in the weight category under 73 kg. The first bronze medal fight will be held between Joji Sami of Belgium and Nechminek Jakub of Czech Republic. Well, I'm not going to get in the way here. Jan, I know um, you're definitely supporting your boy. <laughs> yes, I am. Good luck to him. Let's see how he gets on. First of the bronze medal matches in the under 73 kilo category. Sami Choichi in the white judogi. And he's preparing this left hand to Chimaka. Uh, not good for a group. Uh, he'll be penalized for the step out. Step out. Yes. Step out. He's tall, isn't he? Yes, he's very tall. Oh. Almost no, on the no, end no of that block, block coming. Block yeah, yeah, well done. He got the right leg in as well and yes. hooked it in. That was good. So, otherwise it would be very dangerous. Yeah, couldn't go spinning over. Second penalty. Second penalty. The left hand is making the problems for Oh, Uchimata. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the boy for the Uchimata, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's thrown a couple of times with that today. And look good doing it. I would like to see the Chochi and his result. I think that he's still a junior, but I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. His, his results from, from other tournaments. From this other tournaments. Because he four Ippons today. Five, actually. Five Ippons. From six, he, was, he had six fights. What a day he's had. David Folek from the Czech Republic. First fight. Ippon. Jakub Bavikius of... Lithuania, Ipon. Lost by Ipon. With Kurzai. That was. Yeah, he. W when did he lose? When did he lose out?
Super Ippon. That one. Hmm? Right, we've got the two Italians supposed to be coming onto the mat now. We should at least have one of them. Which one is going to make an appearance? Because <laughs> Regis? Definitely. Well, I think, yeah, Palati's not coming Palati's out. Regis injured. is here. Yeah. Number two, Bronson over So, Palati apparently having picked up an injury. Andrea Regis comes out and takes the contest. He's kind of, you know, embarrassed. You can see he, he's a little <laughs> bit embarrassed about taking the nod there, but he takes the bronze medal. Yeah. I told him not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said to him. I said to him yesterday, take your time, don't worry about it. It's coming. Right, what are we looking at then? We're looking on Ramanchik Ali Aliaksei of Belarus and Katsumi Soshin of Germany. And for those of you at home who are not absolutely certain what it is that we're looking at, we're looking at the final of the under 73 kilo category. Alexei Ramanchik of Belarus and Soshin Katsumi of Germany. It's Ramanchik in the white jidogi, Katsumi in blue. There's another fighter that I said, we had breakfast with him this morning. <laughs> yeah. Sat there and had breakfast with his, his dad and chatting about his judo i said how much i liked his judo and he said yeah but you never show me the only the only matches you show me are when we get to the quarter final and then i lose <laughs> so all of the youtube matches I'm, I'm losing and when my friends go to look at them they say yeah but you always lose <laughs> and he didn't lost today well he hasn't oh. lost today and we have shown him at least once today we have shown him at least once today and here he is in the final so He's corrected that particular problem. Oh, that bit of unluck. And now he can really take it home. I take there, look at the footwork again. And there was no footwork. Ex ex exactly. <laughs> you see, he, he's going to be really upset with me because we're showing him now and now we're criticizing his footwork. But we're being harsh. You know, it's the final of a European Open. There's some points at stake here and... Obviously, both fighters a little bit nervous. He needs the, um, the footwork of Zagrodnik. See, mm -hmm. top half has gone in again. He throws the top half in. It's, it, it's obviously something that he can go away and, and look at. And when he studies it himself, he can see he's obviously e effective to a degree. But he's going to come up against opponents where that's not going to work. It did work early on, though, didn't it? It worked beautifully. He caught someone and threw them for Ippon earlier on it looked really good he has thrown a cup between a by by upon okay earlier but there was some fight we when he get into the golden score and it was tough for him because this Soinaga when he's not moving his legs wasn't yeah. moving yeah. and the opponent read it yeah. properly had, had it covered and, and it, it was covered and it was very tough for him to get through and there time, look at that one that was really nice moved in there really well and it was a big, it was a big movement of the body, wasn't it? And the feet were planted differently. Yes, yes. He had a different, well. different foot position. There was spread, and he had him up on onto his back. Nice bit of movement there from Katsumi. He leads here by Yuko with a little over three minutes to go. The Belarusian Romanchik has also picked up a single shido. So things looking good for Katsumi at the moment as he almost goes over left-sided. Romanchik coming in with his own shoulder throw effort. Couldn't quite see from here whether that was an Ippon Seonagi or Morote Seonagi effort. But a little over two and a half minutes left, left to go. Katsumi just wandering off to the edge a little bit there. I don't really think that's the best place you can try to work something on the ground now that now that they're there looking for the shimmy was though keep him d oh he just oh slipped yeah. the head you only have kept him down there 220 left to go nice little contest brewing here just a single yuko in it the shorter squ squat like shape of katsumi 
in the blue judogi is the, the leader here. Romancic trying to find a good grip from which he can work. Katsumi in and again, and there it is. It should be a bomb yeah. because it was a breach. Yeah, he's really got that. You know, th there are two ways that he throws. He makes that effort and leaves the feet and then either doesn't come up with a score or, or it, looks, it looks flat. Or he really puts himself in there and throws. And that last one he launched, didn't he? He really put himself in there. Yeah. Right, we've got two awarding ceremonies to bring for you. And whilst they get all of that sorted out, we're also going to take an opportunity to update you with regard to the results from Warsaw. So whilst they're getting all of that underway, let me just tell you that the under 48 kilo category gold medal was Marina Cherniak of the Ukraine. There was a silver medal for Eva Koenitsi of Poland and there were bronze medals for Tatiana Lima of Guinea-Bissau and Sonja Wert of Germany. Under 52 kilo category gold medal Petra Narex of Slovenia. Silver medalist was Penelope Bonner of France and there were bronze medals for Annabelle Urani of France and Tatiana Levitska of the Ukraine. And then under 57 kilo category gold medal Telma Montero of Portugal. Silver medalist was Sana Ferhagen of the Netherlands and there were bronze medals for Larissa Satari of Switzerland and Helene Rosovo of France. Right, here we've got the um, awarding ceremony in the under 66 kilo category taking place now. Bronze medals won by Zambori Benza of Hungary and Jasper Lefebvre of Belgium. Silver medalist was Dmitry Shershan of Belarus. And the gold medal goes to Elio Verde of Italy. The award to the winner is awarded by Mr. Ladislav Mani, member of the board of the Czech Olympic Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up for the national anthem of Italy. And now the national anthem of Italy. Yeah, um, well pointed out from Jan. Jan was just mentioning uh, to me that the Belarusians managed to medal in each of the weight categories. Silver medal in the under 60 kilo category from Arif Bagirov. A silver medal in the under 66 kilo category from Dmitry Shershan. And another silver medal from Alexei Romanchik of Belarus. Now, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure whether he was mentioning that they'd medaled in every category or whether they'd lost in every final. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> You're right, in both ways. I mentioned that they lost all the finals and also that they were able to get to the final in each weight category. Yeah, they've done, they've done a good job, haven't they? Yeah, it's I in a way it's unfortunate, isn't it, that they should have got to the uh, final on three occasions and lost all three of them. Because had they won one of those, they'd have topped the medal table. They must come second, though, was not they? No, well, they 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 are fourth because you're going to have Kazakhstan or Italy or Germany 
up there, one, two, and three, because they've got gold medals. So they, 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 the best that they can be is fourth. And yet they've got three silver medals. They've been in the final, uh, you know, and every time around. That's the, that's the way it works. Right, we're coming to the awarding ceremony for the under 73 kilo category. There are the medalists. The medals are awarded by Mr. Pavel Jasanovsky, sports director of Pavel Jasanovsky. He's going to make the medal presentations. Bronze medals go to Sami Chochi of Belgium and Andrea Regis of Italy. Silver medalist is Alexei Ramanchik of Belarus. In the first place and gold medal goes to Soshin Katsume representing Germany. Well, the gold medal goes to Soshin Katsumi of Germany. The award to the winner is awarded by Mr. Vladimir Barta, head sports director of the International Junior Federation. Right, well, that's all the live action that we've got for you from pr uh, from proud from Jan and myself. We're going to be back here tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Yes. But from all of us here, bye-bye for now. Let's hear the national anthem of Germany. <laughs>